Hello everyone, my name is Denise. This morning, my title is called, It's About to Get Better, Says the Lord. But before I continue, I'd like to do a short prayer with you. Heavenly Father, I thank you. Lord, I thank you for this morning that you've granted unto us again, O God. Lord, I magnify you and I bless your name. Let your will be done, O God. Father, I thank you, O God, for this yet another word, O God, for someone. Lord Jesus, I pray, Father, that you will use me to do so as I do it, Father God, in your name, O God. I thank you for every word that you have spoken unto me, Father, that will bring life to someone or correction to someone. Father God, I pray that you will have your way. Let your way be as it is in heaven, O God. In the name of Jesus, I pray. And I tell you thanks in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Right. As I've said this morning, my title is called It's About to Get Better. On the 29th of February, 24, the Lord gave me this prophecy for someone. The Lord said, it's about to get better. He said, you have no money now. But God says it's about to change. Then the Lord allowed me to see the person's account. And spiritually, I saw a plus sign. I saw a plus sign on this person's bank account instead of a minus. Your account, says the Lord, has always shown a minus. But spiritually, the Lord has allowed me to see that this is about to change for you. Things are about to get better for you, says the Lord. And so these are my few words for today. For someone, God has seen your plight. He has seen your struggles and he has heard your cries. And so God is about to change it. And spiritually, he's allowed me to see what is about to take place. Spiritually, it has taken place, awaiting the manifestation here in this physical realm. As I've always explained before, everything happens spiritually before it does here on earth. And so this is how the Lord has allowed me to hear what is to come before it does. So things are about to get better for you. So these are my few words for today. But before I go, I would like to say, if there's anyone who don't know Jesus as their personal savior, I want to encourage you this morning to receive the Lord today, to turn to him before it's too late for you. What will it profit you to gain this whole world and to lose your soul? There are also those who were once with Christ, but they've now turned away from the faith. I want to encourage you also to turn to the Lord again and to seek him in truth before it's too late for you. What will it profit you to gain this whole world and to lose your soul? There are also those who are still professing the faith, but they are lukewarm. They have one foot in and one foot out, still doing the things of this world and the things of God. I want to encourage you also to turn away from the things of this world and to receive the Lord in truth, remembering that we are in this world, but we are not of this world. We are a kingdom people. And so let us live a life that is pleasing that is worthy and that is acceptable unto God, that his name will be glorified and that souls will be saved for the kingdom of God because of the life that we live here on this earth. Remembering also that the word of the Lord tells us that for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him that they will not perish, but have everlasting life through Christ Jesus. The word of the Lord also tells us that the wages of sin is death, but the free gift of God is eternal life 
and that eternal life is through Christ Jesus. These are my few words for today. Thank you for listening. Take care. God bless you. Bye-bye.